Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Console Mods and today we are looking at the Mustang Pack RSK and this truck. Well, there's two trucks in the pack and what an absolute beast of a truck it is. I've been, uh, well since yesterday I was going to do a re review on this and I've just been flying around on the CFT, was it CFTF Proving Grounds? and just amazed on how well this truck goes it's um i have got the better engine option as i normally do but high starts flying away as well but it's not i wouldn't say op whatsoever it's like it is perfect balanced truck but if only all the other trucks were like this then it would be awesome it really would now the frame add-ons we've got for it is unbelievable just the stuff that looks very much in like in game as if as if a dev has made these trucks because these you would have thought these were in the game you really would if you put them alongside all the rest then you would well until you drove them because you realized it goes really well good grip on the mud and brilliant nice bit of kit so this is the 5320 i think it was in the let's have a look where's it gone well yeah, 5320, and then we've got the other one just here, which is the 4350. So let's just jump in at that one and have a quick look around the outside of it, because, um, yeah, really nice tracks. Now, I had a first look at these a while back, and I've just been meaning to get them out and have a test with them, and wow, fantastic bit of kit, it really is. So this is the yes, it is isn't it? the Mustang 4350. So this is the six, uh, two wheel, four wheel version, and then we've got the six wheel version. So let's go over into the garage, and I'll show you what's going on. I'll tell you what. Let's have a quick look inside as well. It's proper old school in here as well, and you see all the. It is pretty well detailed. It looks very much as if it should have always been in Snowrunner, which is uh, yeah talking the other day we think this is like a dev built vehicle it certainly looks that way and in the xml there's gives something a bit more away on that so anyway let's go and have a look so switchable all wheel drive for it i just thought it hasn't got a diff lot or did i not perhaps that's i haven't bought that yet let's go in the garage right so these are the two models available just like that and let's go and see what frame add-ons and what have you now engine choices there's quite a few different choices on there as you can see where it goes from your a a plus down to your s rating and what have you and i've been using that one the next one below is a little bit more on the fuel consumption but it goes really well it really does then we've got a few gearbox options as well with a balance fine tune the trim six gears plus all down shifts and then we have the eight gears and all down shifts and then off-road gearbox on there suspension we have rigid suspension i haven't tried that out yet don't know why you'd want the rigid really where well, you've got to have a bit of flex on it and then we've got the stock and the raised and then tire choices got quite a few different tires and we have got some of the game the vanilla ones but we've got quite a few other tires in there as well as you can see loads there and good rating on most of them well apart from those mud tires are a bit poor but i've been using the uh the old terrains and whatever you brilliant so we have got autonomous seven, 37 meter autonomous just there and then your normal ones on there diff lot i didn't buy so that's why it didn't have diff lot then it's got a spare wheel on the back there if you want that snorkel two different snorkels now that one does actually spin as you're driving along it you see it spin around and then frame frame add-ons now these are the bespoke ones they're pretty nice really well done so that one we've got thirty-four thousand on the fuel and then 300 on the repair points and then van add-on with 1700 repairs six spare wheels and 600 on the fuel but you can actually see inside of this one as well detail on it is amazing looks really really good then we've got a flatbed option log carrier on it as well the loading crane and then saddle high saddle low just like that so we we'll leave it with the add-on i think on there and then moving over front side we've got 
trunk on the top there and then the visor the chandelier which is the lights hanging off the front on there just like that i like those put those back on whoa hang on there we go and then we've got a visor and beacons on there as well if you want them with cab protection an extra bit of protection on the top of the cab there with another load of lights on the front and then moving down to bumpers we've got two different bumpers options then the same with the you can have the lights in the grill or have them not in the grill and then rims yeah they were this yeah two different rims available and color choices quite a few different color choices there as you can see we've done quite a few ones there with the stripes what are on there like that and then all your bobbleheads and all that if you want to have a look at that all well and good so moving over to the 5320 now this one the frame add on on the back is the radar now this it looks to be they've got the same engine and gearbox types and what have you just like that i think they were no they were with the raised ridges suspension looks like we've got the same tire options for the two trucks we won't go through all of these again and then autonomous 70, 37 meters which is ideal diff lock spare wheel and then snorkel same again and then frame add-ons are slightly different where we've got the 25 ton crane on there the log crane manipulator and then we have a flatbed fuel truck tow truck now i've used that one as well and that look works pretty well because uh, when I first looked at it, I thought that's far too high. But I actually put the the other Mustang on the back and was driving it around without any issues. And I didn't top of the bloody thing as well. So really nice bit of kit. Then we have a van add-on with 2,100 repair points, 400 on the fuel. Now that login, you can see that looks like it was just built for the game. It really does, doesn't it? Really does. Nice, nice bit of kit, that. Then the Kung Exploration, where you see we've got the radar on the top of that. And then we've got repair points and fuel tank, so ideal for skating a map with. Then log carrier, seismic vibration module, loading crane, saddle high, saddle low. So all pretty good. And the same options, I think, for the bumpers and whatever. Yes, I think it was, wasn't it? So what does it go like? Well, they go really well. Both of them do. So we'll take it out. The we'll take out the bigger one first. Now I've got the bigger engine. We've got the off-road gearbox. And you see it gets up through the gears pretty pretty quick it really does i'll tell you what let's go and take it over oh slow it down and i'm gonna get damaged take it over all the rocks and this suspension working beautifully it just takes all the bumps and stuff really well very well balanced and it's got a little bit of go to it. Not excessive, but uh, you put the power down, it will go. You see all that suspension working a treat there. Let's go into low. You won't be driving over this fast, so low minus, and then up to low plus. Just like that. I see what I mean. Knock it up through the gears into third, into fourth, and it's away. It just wants to get on with it. Now, when we start putting this through the mud as well, I was surprised it just flies through. Without any issues whatsoever. Uh, it was quite high on the memory, but well worth it. You're getting two really nice, nicely done trucks. You can use these trucks for absolutely anything as well. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow it down, slow it down. Right. Get lined up a bit and then we'll hammer it up there. Put it in high and let it just wants to take off. He's like... Let me up there. Oh. But it is pretty stable as well, even with the race suspension. Um, I've, I've rolled it a couple of times, if you're going a bit too quick. 
but that's what would happen if you were going a bit too quick and you turned a bit hard you're gonna end up rolling your truck but just really impressed with it really am hell of a bit of kit if the if the base game trucks handled like like this then well you would not be worried at all because they can in comparison they uh they handle nothing like this one well get back on track there you go see a lot of time it tilts over but it just doesn't go as quite forgiven now let's activate them let's get on top at the top here and then i'll show you what the radar looks like just like that get the radar out and then antenna comes up and then the radar pops out Just like that. So pretty cool. Now I did put it. It. Uh, I tell you what. Let's go and jump in the other one quickly. Leave, leave that one there, and we get back to the garage. And if we, where's it gone? We'll take this one out with the saddle low. We got saddle low. We got saddle low. And then we go. We got a bit of sun. Sun. Bit of snow coming in. So yeah. Whoa. See what I mean about it? it's got plenty of acceleration up there. It just goes. Now I haven't done any hauling with this one. I was hauling with the the bigger one. It's really nice to see some cracking mods for console. It really is. So let's go and give it a go. Now that pulls without any issues whatsoever. Let it's just going up into fourth, and we are away. Now slow it down, and we go into the mud. Whoa! Now I was just putting this in high, and it was just gone. Not sure if it'd do the same with the trailer. But yes. Oh no! We're slowing down. There we go. Oh my god, stiff lock on. Just like that. Flying through. Well, let me know in the comments if this is one of the tracks you've been using. I've been speaking to quite a few guys about it and everyone's saying the same thing. Saying, yeah, really impressed with the pack. But, uh, oh drop them off really well done and the bespoke add-on you see why it won the tournament really i think that was last month wasn't it so awesome right out well we leave it there for today's look at uh, first look well it's not first look it's mod review for snowrunner console mod for the mustang pack rsk oh yeah there we go available on xbox and playstation now i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did why not check out my other videos we've got absolutely hundreds of snow running now we're getting on for coming up for nearly 600 so there's quite a few thanks for watching until next time goodbye